when we look at the cross product uh, of A with B, okay, we have the ordered pairs 2, 7, 2, 6, 3, 7, 3, 6. Now, they're different to these particular pairs here. They're not the same. They are, they are symmetric, all right, okay, but they are different, okay. Uh, so actually, in general, so in general, in general, it is not, it is not the case. It is not the case that a cross b equals b cross a. So that's not usually the case. Okay. Actually, really, what I'm having to say is that it's not the case. Okay. What is? It's not the case that these two things are equal. Now keep that in mind. I'm not saying they're equal here. I'm saying it's not the case. It's not the case that this particular that this particular identity is true. Okay. Because I've given you an example of where we've broken it. Uh, let's consider another set. Okay. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Okay. Let's say our set. Uh, let's say A B. Let's say C contains the set the elements uh, two, three, and four, and let's say that D contains the elements uh, six, seven nine and five okay and what we want to do is we want to construct c cross d the cross product of c with d once again we construct our table okay our domain elements are listed down the first column which is the set c and our range elements d are listed across the first row okay so let's take c which is two three and four and let's take d which is six seven nine and five and let's construct the ordered pairs. So 2 gets paired with a 6. 2 with a 6. 2 with a 7. 2 gets paired with a 9. 2 gets paired with a 5. So 2 gets paired with a 5. 3 gets paired with a 6. 3 with a 7. 3 with a 9. 3 with a 5. And 4 gets paired with a 6. 4 with a 7. 4 with a 9. Okay. And 4 with a 5. And four with a five. Okay. So the the uh, let's say the, the cross product C cross D is the set that contains all of these values. So it contains two six, two seven, two nine, it contains two five, it contains three six, it contains three seven, okay, it contains three nine, it contains three five, it contains four six, it contains four seven. And it contains four nine, and finally it contains four four five, and that's the set which is the cross product of C with D. Uh, okay, guys, uh, this was a short video, okay, which was just dealing with the concept of what the cross product of two sets are, okay. <coughs> We can actually cross product a set with itself. Maybe I should do that, okay? So just as a final as a fi as a final as a final example, okay? Maybe what we should do is we should actually just have a look at what the cross product of a set is with itself, okay? So let's just choose a set here, okay? Let's say for argument's sake that our set contains E. What did I stop at? I stopped at D there a moment ago. Let's say so E is the set that contains six and nine, and let's say and four. Okay? <laughs> Excuse me, and I want to construct the cross product E cross E. Okay, and we can do this. Once again, we construct our table. The range, the domain elements get listed down the first column, and the range elements are across the first row. Okay, so E is 6, 9, and 4, and E is also 6, 9, and 4. So the order pairs are 6, 6, 6, 9, 6 with 4. We have 9 with 6, we have 9 with 9. And we have nine with four. Okay, we have four with six, and uh, we have four with nine, and we have four with four. So the cross product E cross E is simply the set that contains these ordered pairs. So it contains six six, it contains six nine, it contains six four, it contains nine six, it contains nine nine, it contains nine four, it contains four six, it contains four nine. It contains four, four. Okay, this is actually really important that you take the elements out of here and you put them into this particular set because the cross product, okay, the cross product by definition, and that's the way we defined it. We defined the cross product of A and B to be a set of ordered pairs. It's a set of ordered pairs, so it's important that we take the elements from this from this particular, let's say, tool that we've used to construct these particular these ordered pairs that we take the elements and we put them into a particular set. 
Okay guys, uh, once again my name is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland and I do hope that this video was some way intuitive and more importantly uh, that it was in some way helpful for you and thanks for watching.